everybody, Chris Gress here. So today I got something a little different for y'all. This is actually a sling from Haley Strategic. So I picked this up from Brownells recently for my Geisley DDC. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so this is a new sling I picked up from my Geisley DDC. This is from Haley Strategic, and uh, that's a name that's been around for, for quite a few years now. And, um, you know, I kind of wanted to try a different sling. I typically do Magpul slings, but I wanted to try something different on the Geisley setup. So I picked this up from Brownells. It was right at $100, which I think is an absorbent amount for a sling. It does come in this kind of zipper envelope thing right here. And, uh, so first impressions of this sling. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I pulled it out is how thin this webbing is. So you can kind of see that right there. It does come, of course, with a couple of QD mounts. So for the front of the rifle, you got a, a, a standard one, but then on the rear, you actually have one of these more lower profile ones. Uh, and then following up from that guy, you do have a spot where you can turn this from a two point sling into a one point sling. Very nice finish on that guy. And then you have, of course, some adjustments here. This is their padded sling. So very nice padding there. It's very low profile. So it's kind of one of those things that you look at and you're like, gosh, I mean, really $100 for this is a little kind of hard to, hard to swallow, but um, you know, it is very nicely made. Um, but you know, when you're typically seeing web slings that are very thick, uh, that's probably my only concern is having something so thin. If you do snag it on something, it's going to be more likely to tear than one of your, the other slings that I tend to use. And then kind of following it up, you do have a quick cinch adjustment here. So if you need to adjust this on the fly and it seems to move very, very smooth. So that's a, that's a good thing. Magpul also has something similar to this as do a lot of other sling manufacturers. My take on this sling, do I think it's worth a hundred dollars? That's hard to judge. For me, I think it's it's overpriced. I think this is uh, really should be a sixty dollar sling or thereabouts. I mean, there are a lot of quality slings you can get for that fifty sixty dollar mark. Blue Force Greek Gear, uh, Magpul, um, just to name a couple. So a hundred dollars is is kind of a hard pill to swallow. I mean, you are paying somewhat for the name and the quality. And performance but you know I don't know I don't know if I would buy another one of these just looking at it I guess I have to try it a little bit and see how I like it it is very lightweight so that it does have that going for it it's also very low pro profile so it's not gonna cause a lot of bulk and stuff on your rifle and it does have very nice padding but it's not real super thick padding but um, should do very well actually for um, carrying the rifle around so like I said we'll just have to see tell me your thoughts down below let me know what you think about this sling. Do you have a favorite sling? I don't really have a favorite, but uh, typically I get the Magpul slings, one of the MS series. And of course we are clear. So you get your adjustment point right here so you can cinch it up or loosen it up as needed. So it's, it is very smooth as far as the slings concerned for the adjustments. And of course you have your two point to one point changeover right there. Okay, so I appreciate everybody watching today's video on this sling setup from Haley Strategic. If you're looking for something like this or other accessories, etc., for your firearm project, definitely go check out my friends over at Brownells. Any questions or comments on the sling, please put those down below. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.